Okay, so this unboxing is actually two boxes. These are picture books, and it's from Publisher Spotlight. It's a service of Myrick Marketing and Media, and by being on the reviewer's checklist, um, I'm getting a lot of picture books from various um, publishers, I believe. So this, as you can see, is quite full. So we're gonna, we're just gonna, we're just gonna get started. Um, let's see how many we can do before we, it gets too long. Please don't change my diaper by Sarah Beth Holden, illustrated by Emma Peterson. This book is published by. Uh, it says Canada. Let me see. Um, Canada Council for the Arts, and it looks like it's a winter story um, about a baby who wants to go out. Um, I think the baby needs the baby diaper changed, but is reluctant to. Um, but it's all about the diaper situation um, and, you know, being able to go outside. Okay, the next one is The Shaman's Apprentice by Zacharias Kunick, illustrated by Megan Kyok Monteith. It looks indigenous. Um, I don't know from what, from where. I don't know if these are all Canadian books either. So let's take a look. Also, Canada Council for the Arts. And so it, so it might be, it almost looks like it's, it's definitely in a cold country. It, it looks like it might be in the Arctic, like indigenous peoples, like in Alaska area or someplace like up very up north. And it's a story about um, a man who's ill. Um, and then the shaman, who was, I think this woman, who was like the healer, um, and, you know, sort of how she um, heals. Um, it looks very authentic, like a, a really authentic story. Um, there's a glossary um, and notes on how to speak this language in a TikTok. Um, and so these are the words and how to say them. And here uh, is more about the author, who I believe this is an own voices. The illustrator is own voices, I believe. Um, and the author looks like he is also um, familiar with this region. He might not be own voices, but he lived in this area. All right, great. Looks really good. Okay, next one. Grandfather Bowhead, Tell Me a Story by Arviok Johnston, illustrated by Tamara Camp Poe. Um, this might be more from, no, this Canada. So this is Inhabit Junior. Is that, is that the publisher? And so it looks like this is uh, like Great Blue Whales, maybe? Um, but our Arvok. So it also looks like it's an indigenous story um, about the whale in in this cold Arctic region. Um, so maybe this is. A, I wonder if this is like an effort from Canada to capture indigenous own voices. Um, I don't know if they are own voices, um, but the author does live in this area, Nunavut. Um, and so it's it's a story of I think almost like grandfather and grandchild whales. Okay, here is another one. In my Anna's Amutik by Nadia Summertok, illustrated by Lenny. Lyshenko. And the illustrations remind me a little bit of the first picture book. Um, and this also is from the Canada Council for the Arts. 
and we're learning some um, words, which maybe is in the index in the back, hopefully. Yes, there is a glossary. So, in a TikTok. So it's great. Actually, there's a there's a few books all um, about this um, indigenous people and their language, and just different stories from different perspectives. Um, and this one is. So I don't I don't know if it's mother, Anana, is mother or grandmother, but I feel like it's oh it's mother, and then the pouch is where. The mother carries the baby, almost like um, an indigenous baby Bjorn or like a, um, Native Americans who carried uh, babies on, on their back. Um, so here is also an igloo. Um, and so I don't know if we're going to see how she's carried. Oh, it's so snuggly and warm. Um, that's lovely. Okay, great. So all... All four of these, actually. So maybe I'll, I'll, I'll end it here. All four books here are um, indigenous. They look like C Canadian indigenous peoples, and it's all the Inatuck, which I, I hope I didn't butcher that. Um, all have culture and language and glossaries and look terrific. Um, so thank you so much uh, for these books.